Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to kick off the Tranjan campaign, Legates and Legions, and we are still on the moderate difficulty. My grandfather once told me of the age of Augustus, the emperor who found Rome a city of brick and left it one of marble. Guided by his virtue and prudence, Augustus's empire reached new bounds, a vast constellation of cities spanning the Mediterranean and beyond. Its prosperity and happiness were the envy of an otherwise bitter, cruel world. Seven decades, ten emperors and countless civil wars later, that golden age is a distant memory. Marred by corruption, the constellation that once lit the world is now little more than a faint and fraudulent zodiac. Yet there are those among us who still believe in Rome. In my youth, I followed my father's and grandfather's footsteps into the legions. Twenty years later, I am Marcus Ulpius Trianus, commander of the Seventh Legion, and a veteran of Emperor Domitian's northern wars. The aristocrats of the Senate despise Domitian for his unwillingness to bend to their whims, but he treats his legions well. Now, he calls on us to quash the rebellion of one Saturninus, a provincial governor styling himself emperor. A lifelong military man, I know all too well that soldiers' blood is the currency of rich men's power plays. But when Rome calls, I must go. I will march north to see that this civil war ends before it has even begun. It's a good start into the story. Okay, defeat rebel raiders or Saturnus. Domination must not be defeated, so purple has to survive. Uh, Bronze Age, population of 50. Roman towers are cheap. Use them to fortify yourself, okay? You only need to defeat one of your two opponents. Do not forget about Domination, especially on harder difficulties. You will need your help to hold off Saturnus. Send troops to recruit Roman legions scattered around the map. Not only will they swell to your ranks, but they will also provide Domitian with much needed upgrades. Okay, so that's pretty important. Uh, we control a small camp of, and a modest force that is poised to either support the emperor or clear out the raiders that are scattered about the countryside. Purple controls the northwest region of the map with an army of swordsmen and archers. Several Roman legions are scattered about the map, awaiting the arrival of Trajan's messengers. Provincial governor Saturnus Cyan leads the rebel insurrection from his holdings in the northeast. He will mercilessly attack Domitian force with forces of infantry and mounted units. Uh, Saturnus has sent rebel raiders to waylay any supplies or reinforcements in, headed Domitian's way. These. Axemen, slingers, and chariots are numerous and widespread, but less well equipped. So it sounds like upgrades are going to be the kind of the name of the game. Can I count on you to save her, Trajan? Okay, so let's look what we got. With rebel scum. Clean them out and rally the nearby legions to crush this traitor. Okay, so we have so we know where we have to go, looks like. So we're gonna run up here and visit that camp. Uh, yeah, you guys go ahead and now we're using the the actual Age of Empires um, to like deer and the boar. Which is interesting to me. Okay, good, we have temples again. Uh, let's go ahead and, and get some I'm a, I'm a troops picked up here. I tire of usurpers and civil wars. Let us teach this rebel governor a lesson. 
With his forces behind me, and you, of course, we shall be invincible. Rutgen. Abadakis. Rutgen. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and... Somos. ...work on this force here. Rut Erectus. I can. And we can attack move oh, no. there. Hello. Um, let's go ahead and get a mining pit with oh, gold. We'll go ahead and focus some of our troops on the tower itself. treated us well. We will not abandon him now. Abedakis. Many thanks, Trajan. These reinforcements were sorely needed. Abedakis, Rutgen. I guess. Okay, so there's Abedakis. that group also. Okay, so we are definitely low on gold and we're about to run out of food here so let's go ahead and get a Our emperor needs us pack your things and march on the double oh crap i see that you are a man to be counted upon trajan okay. so we'll go Abedakis. ahead and stabilize down there we definitely want to grab these upgrades we're gonna oh wait. These food replenish themselves. I saw that bar getting ready to be depleted, so that's not what I expected to happen. Um, let's go ahead and pause and take a look at the Roman tech tree real quick. So our we're an infantry sieve. Buildings cost ten percent less, except for towers. Towers cost forty percent less. Okay. Swordsman attack 50% faster. Ballista and... Okay, so we're swordsman and ballista, and then our priests heal faster. So, we, yeah, so we can get legionaries. Uh, range is definitely weak. We can only get in bowmen and improved bowmen. Uh, we can get, got a pretty good siege workshop. Chariots are okay. Okay, so, we, again, infantry. And... Uh, let's see, what do we got over here? We're missing alchemy. Again, that's more of a range. Ooh, that would have been nice to have conscription, but we're, we'll be okay without that, I think. Uh, let's see, so we got double priest hit points, priest move faster, faith conversion, villagers move faster, much stronger in combat, but carry less resources. Okay. And we can get up to the juggernaut. Anti-building siege. No fire galley. Okay. So resume. We have a market anywhere. Does not look like it. We'll go ahead and grab a priest out at least. I You are a tyrant and a madman, Domitian. I am here to end your unjust reign. I'm under attack! Send help to parry this assault, quickly! Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, attack this to limit their resources. Oh, he actually needs quite a bit of help. Um. What's the fastest way there? I think the. F <laughs> uh. I think they're okay for this this attack. Make that control four and that control three. We're gonna go ahead and tear the gate down. I think. Uh, got a little bit of 
wood. We need more food, so we're gonna go ahead and build Umbus. Umbus. the uh, market or the not market. Excuse me, the Umbus. farms. Umbus. 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 And then we're gonna want a government center too, because there's some good Umbus. upgrades in there. Good shop up there. Looks like our uh, swordsmen are doing just fine over here. Beat either enemy player. Well, this is going well so far. It looks like they have another town up over there. I shall use them to decorate my camp. Horse and camel units. Um, barrack tunics take half population would probably be great. Okay, so we got some chariots attacking over there. Let's go ahead and get our uh, our swordsmen move in that direction. We can go ahead and reinforce with a bunch more. Well, it's that many more. Uh, market. Let's go ahead and sell and buy. Grab the plow upgrade for our farms. We are running low on gold. Maybe we want to take four of you and build a storage pit up here. There we go. Okay, so I think we'll be okay here. It's kind of weird that they chose to engage like that. I guess technically our swordsmen are weak to cavalry, which do include chariots, but they're... You know, I'm not too worried about them, because chariots do tend to be pretty low HP. Um, let's Looks like they can't really come through this way, so we'll... Move our forces down this way. Did we ever build a granary? I don't think we did. Oh, go ahead and engage, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and support with our cavalry up here. Having some academy units mixed in does definitely help. Go ahead and convert that unit. There's that one gone. Go ahead and send you up here to build a whole bunch of towers. And we'll go ahead and rally our swordsman production up over here. Go ahead and kill that chariot, and we'll go ahead and get rid of this stable. The rebels are crushed. Not there we go. Saturninus will be forced to surrender. That was a really easy mission. I kind of wonder if we started with the uh, the harder ones in the... We just got the Roman victory, win a game as Romans in Return of Rome. I almost wonder if we started in, in the harder area. The Romans say that fortune favors the bold. 
but how does it decide between two valiant men? The question puzzled me as my men dragged Saturninus before our merciless emperor. I wonder what his last thoughts were. Did he regret not anticipating that my legions would reach the front in time? Did he curse fortune for the unprecedented January thaw that prevented his German allies from crossing the Rhine? It matters not. The answer died with him. But our Emperor's anger endured. From the day of his coronation, Domitian had been a firm and bold ruler. But the Senate despised this friend of the legionary and the commoner. When Domitian's latent paranoia began to consume him, his wrath engulfed the Empire like a raging wildfire. Countless arrests followed in the wake of the war. Senators who had opposed him were executed like common criminals. When the court could bear it no more, the Emperor was assassinated. Oh! That happened faster than I thought it would. I guess it's more about the uh, the general than the emperor, because it's based on the name of the campaign. Yeah, that was that was surprisingly easy. I did not expect that to uh, go that smoothly, but that's okay. Maybe we just had the the harder campaigns first. Any at any rate. I would like to thank everyone so much for watching, and I hope that you have a great day and you remember to keep smiling.